Sanbona and Sanbonani, welcome to Elevate, you know, and today uh, you're going to be elevated uh, with Felix Lope, Nami, Uzisto. We're going to have a beautiful conversation around uh, who Felix is. Now, let me give you a brief uh, understanding of who I know Felix as. Felix, I met him years ago, all right, in a very informal setting. He was just a guy. You understand? Little did I know that years later I'd be sitting across him and uh, literally just getting to know him better and getting him to also just understand how impactful his journey has been, not only to somebody like me, but now in Gaz, which Felix touches you in some way every single day. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I wanted to elevate Felix. <laughs> how are you? Hi, thank you for having me. I'm fine, thank you. Fantastic. Okay, yeah. just to break the ice, right? It is Heritage Month, Kanalan, in South Africa. And I want you to tell me, Isaka, that is your favorite. And tell me why Leso Saga is your favorite. Um, oh, yeah. okay, tell me why. Um, because, um, what I love about um, the richness mm. of the Zulu language, yeah, so I, I love this is Zulu. Um, as some is Chuli, like it's put his chili, some is Zulu. So, um, there is um, an ambiguity mm. in the Zulu language, mm. it's purposeful. Mm. So, in the Sule Saka, let's see, the MB, a big one. One, you are never too old to learn. Mm. Mm. You may be 45, 50, 60. Mm. You can still learn from someone. Mm -hmm. So, you can still learn from someone. 100%. So, you can still learn 100%. But also, it means, um, you can be a man at 13. If your father dies at 13, you don't need to do cool. Who's been doing? Up to that, say book 15. So up to that, up cool. You may at a very young age um, now be charged with duties and responsibilities of a man. Because cometh uh, the hour, cometh the man. And you have to man up. Up to that, up cool. And the reason that Gimbuze Loco is because I know a lot of people know him as a comedian, the funny guy, <laughs> you know. But I mean, Umuntu is always multifaceted, you know. Um, he's a radio host, um, he's a father, he's a husband, yeah. you know, <laughs> and he's a lot of things in between. So, so people can just set the tone. Yeah. We're here to literally just tap into who Felix Lope is as a gentleman and as everything that I've. Um, <clears throat> Uh, talked about. So you become a household name in the South African comedy okay. uh, industry. Case it in uh, comedy, you put it on the map. I don't care who says what. <laughs> the first time guys were commenting Zulunga Kimali was because I was going to uh, watch Felix Lopez. So congratulations on that. Thank you so much. Uh, I think you've done an incredible job. Did you think, did you ever think growing up Kwa E? Yeah. Uh, with your siblings, with yeah. your mom and dad, um, going to Ikola Salokshini, then going to a boarding school, that one day you would be this prolific? Um, no, not in my wildest mm. dreams. Uh, but I can tell you, uh, there's, there's more to life, there's more to, the, to my purpose. Um, we always live through life trying to find our purpose. Mm. Um, they say if you can't find a purpose, Find a passion, mm -hmm. and the passion will lead you to your purpose. My passion has always been, um, well, laughter, and uh, just dishing out feel-good, warm, fuzzy memories for mm -hmm. people. So I come from a very large family, the yeah, five yeah. of us, uh, and then mom and dad. Yeah. And we've always been like a funny family. I, yeah. The, the memory of my, of, I have of my father is him laughing. The uh -huh. picture of my sister is, is her laughing. Everyone, big dinner table, telling jokes. Uh -huh. uh, I never thought uh, I could actually um, derive a livelihood from love. Right. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I, I always felt deep within me that there's more to my purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, like, and you, you just, I'll, 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 you don't try. Yeah. And now when you're saying that even your father was funny, it's like, okay, lento, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, yeah. so now you're a radio host, I mean, you're a comedian, an amazing comedian, mm -hmm. and you're also a radio host. Yeah. How do you use your comedic relief, comedic timing, uh, isn't oh, on stage as a comedian yeah. to translate we radio to transition to captivate the audience? Because what you do in the morning yeah. cannot be undone. No, oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> I'd say the, the two are intertwined. Um, even in radio, it's still a performance. Yeah. It's still uh, a theater of the mind. Uh, only difference is I now imagine my audience. Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm up on stage, I can see the audience. Mm -hmm. I can um, uh, sort of like um, draw from their energy. 
but when when I'm in the studio, uh, also the skill of storytelling, mm -hmm. of the build up, the setup, yeah, yeah. the punch, yeah, yeah. Um, keeping people captivated and enhancing them to stay on, mm -hmm. and um, enticing them to um, come back again the following day yeah. for yet another bite yeah. of the cherry. Uh, throughout the whole week. Yeah. Uh, I think um, my my skill in radio, I actually borrow a lot from the on stage here yeah, yeah. and in my other trade as, as a comedian, which is also storytelling mm. of sorts. Yeah. Storytelling of sorts. And I mean, Ukule Lokshin, Felix, and yeah. what about growing up a Lokshini you think sets you apart from Umuntu who didn't grow up a Lokshini, you know, as yeah. Felix Klopp won a plunge? You wash. Uh -huh. Okay, what does what wash mean? You wash. Mm. Yeah, it goes to the good. Yeah, I think I build rapport very easily. Yeah. Uh, I find that. A Lokshin, we're very communal beings, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? There's no fences, a Lokshin, a color money, a fence, a a massive power, a corner, 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 a ability to build rapport easily with mm. people. I am very empathetic uh, to uh, people's pain. Yeah, I feel yeah, them, yeah. Uh, which that is comes why across. I resonate a lot with them. Mm. I understand uh, township life. I understand country life. Mm. There's also uh, a big part of me is, is, is rural also. Mm. Uh, where, where so my father comes from, my mother comes from the rural areas. Mm. So I am multifaceted in that sense. Mm -hmm. uh, but also I've had the taste and the glimpse of the other side. Um, so I am able to converse freely with people from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I have a general appeal from young to old, yeah, yeah. from illiterate to learned, mm -hmm. overall to CEO, mm -hmm. blue collar, white collar, you name it. Um, I've also been very fortunate to be able to cross the racial divide. Yeah. So it's the age divide, it's the literacy divide, it's the race divide. I think uh, God was very kind. Yeah. To me. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's instances, obviously, as much as God has been kind to us, there's instances where people. Mm. are not kind to us. I mean, yeah. and in your journey, it's been a very long journey, you mm. know, uh, from you working at that company, HR, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to you finding yourself on stage, having yeah. to MC because somebody yeah. didn't show up, <laughs> to um, you being now referred to, you know, okay, mm. now you're climbing, now you're climbing, now you're becoming Felix, but you don't even know that you're becoming Felix, you're, sure. just, be, you're just living your life. Yeah. Then challenges come in, right? Mm. And I know that you have a personally told uh, people that you are suffering with a mental health right. Uh, disorder, right? Mm -hmm. Mental illness disorder. And Angaz Gutwatola Nini Loko, is there a, can you tell us when you started to pinpoint that and mm -hmm. how you then dealt with it, if you dealt with it mm -hmm. to this point? Uh, <laughs> uh, obviously, um, I've had um, lots of imbalances in terms of my uh, emotions and my emotional well-being um, at that time. I went for a long time undiagnosed. Mm -hmm. um, how, been, how long is a long time, do you think? Um, well, ever since I, I, I was a kid, I know I've not had a full grasp of my uh, emotions. Mm. I know that I, uh, I live in the two extremes. I'm mm. extreme left and then I'm extreme right. So I'm never in between unless obviously now that I'm, um, I'm medicated. Uh, but uh, I would start things and not finish them. Mm. You know, I, would, uh, I would start this and start another thing whilst the other one is not finished and do that. And at my happiest, I've bought someone a car. <laughs> Even. So, we'll get into my that. Lowest, <laughs> at my lowest, I, I, I ended up in, in hospital oh, after wow. a failed suicide attempt. Oh, no. Yeah. So it, it spirals in either direction depending on, on the trigger. Um, it was then when I was in hospital that um, I was involuntarily committed and part of that was I needed to consult mm. with a psychologist who then referred me to a psychiatrist and then 
Uh, that's when I, I, was, I was diagnosed and then I was put on, on Aplin. Now, okay, mm. that's interesting. I've never heard that story from you. And uh, we are in Heritage Month right now. And I mean, you're talking all things traditions and cultures. And in the Zulu culture, mm. which you were brought up in as Mswati, yeah. you know, <laughs> our best adoption Liswati. ever. Liswati. 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 I, 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 oh, my. Yeah. Okay, Liswati. Liswati yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, as Liswati. <clears throat> now, um, how did you deal with those challenges? Like when you realize that you, you've got this thing that's going on, mm. are you talking to somebody? Because in our culture, we, we don't take that seriously. And it's right. because we are ignorant to it. It's not because uh, at Tina, we are, we, we're not taking it seriously but on purpose. We are mm. ignorant to it. Now, mm. how did you go about that with the family, as, as a traditional man, as a culturalist, mm. in a Zulu society, Zulu culture, it's going to understand the land. How did you? Figure that out. Um, you see, the biggest thing is, is, is when you have a mental health disorder, mm. um, you're not the only one that's affected. It mm. also affects people around you, uh, people you're born into bondage with, and also people um, that you are in various relationships with. Mm. It could be either an employment relationship, could be a romantic relationship, mm. could be your siblings, could be your parents, because mm. they have to deal with you. Uh, they need to deal with this emotional roller coaster. Mm. So um, much as you are a traditional, cultural, staunch Zulu man, but you need, for the sake of others that are affected by your episodes mm. and, and in tantrums mm. at, at times, or sometimes you feel like you, you're wearing a, a metal jacket, you mm. won't get out of bed, and you're feeling sorry for yourself. you in this uh, cycle of Mad helplessness. Mm. Yeah. But sometimes it affects them and how you relate to them. It becomes very difficult to live with. So when you do it, you're doing it for yourself, but you're also doing it for those that love you, that have to tolerate your behavior. It affects them also. Yeah. So um, it, it's been a journey. Um, being on medication is not an easy thing. I don't like it. I don't like how it makes me feel. But I know at least it, it helps me function. Mm. It helps me relate better with other people. Mm. It helps me become a better person. Um, uh, we always self-diagnose and, and think we heal, then we stop. Until then, we relapse and get hit by another episode. Um, but obviously, now I'm, I'm I'm wedded, and I have children, and my children are grown, and I owe it to them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So speaking of tradition and culture, um, geez, like as I was doing my research again. I mean, I know that you're a traditionalist. I know that you're a real culture guy. I just didn't know to at what extent and how much you stood for it. You know, I know there's a character Oslope that you've created yeah. uh, that is a staunch Zulu, per yeah. and that comes from deep within. You know, um, yeah, can I tell you something yeah, funny about that? Yeah. It's a character I developed for auditioning uh, with Spire. Okay. Yeah. So as before Ismaya was Ismaya, we were invited to a close audition. Yeah. My audition partner was Celeste Ndui. Okay. Though, yeah. So um, they had given us a brief, and so I had a, 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 quite a, a wide um, array of characters to choose mm. from. And I fell in love with the staunch northern uh, was not a man. And uh, they speak in a certain accent, and they are in the taxi industry. And that's how I developed the, the accent, and that's how I started speaking uh -huh. in that way. So uh, first and second attempt wasn't successful. Mm -hmm. But now I had this thing that used to make people laugh, so I started using it. Little did I know that um, it went as far as places I've never set foot in. Mm. As soon as I touched down at, uh, at the airport, oh, oh so pelo, Pedis, yes. Swazis, Sutus, everyone. Yeah. Even across the border, mm. they know me as Ushaw. Uh -huh. And I've, I've done so many things in comedy and broadcast, but also I'm now famous for the character that uh -huh. I created, that I happened and stumbled upon. Uh -huh. and, 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 and and like that's, that's <laughs> a true definition yeah. of who Felix is, because I mean, the fact that you weren't man able yeah. to grasp it and it lives with you for so long, mm. there's something there. But he's an extremist. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. mild, I'm mild. Oh, come. In, in your old age, you're mild. All right, so. Yeah. Ekaya, e um, you know, you've uh, obviously got six children, you know, four out of wedlock and mm. two within wedlock, you know. No, 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 they're not out of wedlock, they're pre-wedlock. I mean, I mean, okay, yes, pre, <laughs> pre wedlock, oh, how yeah. dare I, pre-wedlock yes. and then the, the two within yes, Ushato, yes, yes. I can't just imagine. 
Now, how yeah. do you how do you as a traditional man make sure that they understand their traditions, their cultures, mm. and because mm. what happens is that uh, when you try to blend a family, it doesn't blend as well, right. and the man is the one who's responsible for leading mm. the blending. When's that Um, faith in God, yeah, and also um, a firm and a deeply rooted values mm. uh, of. Um, who I am, my identity. Yes, we are Swati, but we are brought up Zulu. Yeah. So everything about us is Zulu. Mm. Um, funny you should ask that mm. because um, in the next week or so, yeah. um, I'm, I'm recording my reality show, so mm. everything is linked to, um, to, to the shooting schedule. Mm. So, which is why even now I've not issued out any invitation. Because as I'm answering this, I'm thinking, you ask yourself, so why am I not invited? You know, first of all. <laughs> yeah, but my daughter, Umshonyana, mm. uh, and then uh, after that, uh, a tradition that is fond of, of my, mm. my, my doing and my immediate family is Islam. Okay. Because in Tolu Mutu, Amantos and Ezelum Shonya and Enzele, Umemulo, but there's no rite of passage for, for boys. Yeah. Because we are a military uh, nation. Yeah. We were brought up in the military code as Zulu. Yeah. Because Uzulu Banda. So, Abafana Bangane, Bebe Mutua. Bebe Mutua, and Ebutu, and Labafiba Sogakon, Mapundi Sukto, and Mapundi Swim Pitagalo, Zezu, Maxelumu, Mashonumu, and Zuandeka. Um, so now, mind you, because mm. our second mm. so Abafana are left to their own devices yep. to, to figure this thing themselves. But I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be uh, for my daughter, and then I'm going to have uh, Islam. So I'm going to have Islam. 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 So I think you and the people who are going to have Islam are going to have an identity as strong and deeply rooted in, 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 in the Zulu culture and uh, in, in our family values. Mm. Um, and then after that, obviously, the ones that are alone, So, so I don't take the shine from the one and the benze You know, and back their own family and Jalanja. But everything else is, um, I wouldn't claim credit mm. for it. I'm very close to my children, uh, and as such, it has led for them to be close to one another. 100%. At the beginning, it was very hard because um, you go through life thinking, Nale relationship is final. You tell me, I'm in Shuan, I'm in Muna, I'm in Kukula, 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 I'm Nalo Ashonja, Nalo Ashonja, and Tilu Zubin, now no Ako Umde, no Shat, who will be calling an This is one thing that says this is a lawn as you are shame. They try the shale, the Tulusu Zakela. That's beautiful. Because Ekpeneli is a like. Hey, so, um, the blending, Zisto, honestly, is not my doing, it's the Lord's work. Okay, speaking yeah. about blending being the Lord's work, um, there was Amahim him, him that you were going to extend your family and blend your family your wives, which brings me to my question about polygamy. Yeah. What's your stance on polygamy in Jenga um, For you? Yeah, I'm a big advocate mm. for uh, polygamy. Um, I stand against monogamy. I don't support monogamy. I still believe that monogamy is a social construct. I believe um, it's, um, it's colonialism because our people have existed for hundreds and thousands of years. Yes, they're not down people. Mm. We existed in a certain way, mm. pre-colonialism, mm. and then we were colonized, and then we were um, 
indoctrinated with a foreign value system. It was imposed upon us. And that's monogamy. Um, okay, let's go back mm. to my being Zulu. Tinama Zulu, see, 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 this is so clean as I say, it's because of Chloe is a whole tando romance, Kanye, no shad. In its truest form, um shad was Zulu, no more telling in Togaz, which is shad, the old to be a tanda, the loom shad, the Utigiona, and tell us of Kulisa, who must go back, and the loom who say, who must go back, who was Kaz again, no Ako, or Aisha, no Ise, Abazali. Yes, Bele to Sake, who figure like Hazozala, Amakosan and Amakosan, Alaikai, Akubezu Kondolo. Like a woman affects and affects your whole entire DNA of your whole entire lineage going forward. All your ancestors have existed until the point who mm. will to sack and then changes the DNA mm. of them going forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now, um, 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 has been romanticized by television. Mm. Uh, monogamy does not exist. Cheating does not exist in our culture. It's never existed. If you look today um, at women today, mm. uh, women um, are responsible for the happiness index of the country. Mm. The happiness index is low. Why? Because all women are affected by one thing. Men are trash. Yes? Why umtol? Why they feel cheated mm. on? Yes? Which mm -hmm. is not our belly system. Monogamy um, it is. One to preserve blind lines. Uh, number two, low uh, to stop wars, to bolster relations between warring uh, factions. Mm -hmm. uh, was broken in peace. It was for inheritance purposes. It was never about love romance. at all. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now it's about that. Now that you include romance. It dilutes and pollutes everything. Mm. Yes, because now, abanye bate setandana. There's flowers. There's chocolates. There's romance. Mama nanga zanda gazun sina squares. Oma mama nanga zanda chau. Ota dola mandia. Even though mama ngu mundo hai pangwa ban as squares. Yeah, one. Oba ni tina la. We are a functional unit. O mama ukulisa abantu an afagama values. Aba be impilo no pila. O mama usema simi ni mina ni hanta. Yes. So what happens to the men who do believe in monogamy, who do believe that there yeah, is cheating? I would say you can believe you can believe in whatever you want to believe. Yeah. In. But what I'm saying, if we were colonized by Muslims, mm. your value system would be different. We'll be having four wives, as per the Quran. We we now subscribe to one woman, uh, one man, one woman, because we were told by what? Mm. By colonials. But also, colonial, it was colonial, colonial men. It wasn't like a woman when and men in the colonial era were coming yeah. together and making this decision. It was always patriarchal. It, 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 was, it, was, the, it was the clergy. Mm. The clergy being the church. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the nobles being also the kings and, and all the nobles. Yeah. They decided. In Europe, in medieval Europe, not everyone had the right to marry. It was a privilege reserved for rich men. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. They married many wives. And then these guys said, ah, but we are blacksmiths. And we are this, we are this. We also deserve So it goes back to this thing. It's all patriarchal. It's all what men want, what men want, what men want. So you saying that you don't believe in monogamy. I understand it, yeah. you know. But then what happens to your partner? When do they factor into the conversation Correct. of how, baby? Yeah. Oh, baby. Mm. When do they factor in? Um, it's, it's like you when when you um, go through school. Mm. You, you want to be a doctor, you want to be an engineer, and then later on you want to be a psychologist, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, who is the best table? Nama values gazulu is is table. Akso onesendo. This table is abafa. So, wa wa nungo skaz wa kupana butoli mbume kala. Ubuti na ngule ngaba ngule nzigani. Onda mutole kasi nzigani. If you are not a person who is 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 a person 
a loyal moon of November. I, Giagoza, Felix, Mina, I don't think it works in this day and age just because of the equality and the disparity of, you know, mm -hmm. and Tina says for Dile Manje, Sasazi, more than we should know or less than we should, we used to know, you know, so um, of course it's about you and your family and if it works for you and your family, that's okay. great, but I really think it's very patriarchal and it's just founding. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thank you so much. I think... Uh, this is such a beautiful conversation to have, especially during this month, you yeah. know, just to get a deeper understanding of why Uthlope Uthlope and why Uthlope is so passionate about Abba Zulu and being Um Zulu and representing us as a Zulu nation because that's what you're doing, you know. Yes, yeah. you know, um, yeah. <laughs> and we appreciate you, we love you, and I'm giving you your flowers right now because ah, Nishu, you. I know where you come from, you know. I never yeah. thought I would be sitting across you interviewing you Mama. as a legend in your game, Mama. you know. And then you ask, you ask, Go to Stegis, Ussize, Gamma School Fees, Nanani. So I go on it and the Losin de Leon as people like his and people who support you, uh, are people who are invested in your career because your career gives us life. Oh, God bless you understand? You. You've been too kind, to yeah. Us, but thank you so much. Yeah, no, for real. I appreciate it. It hasn't been an easy journey, um, but obviously, Jubangi is a good neck. Unkunguya Banagela back, how about his years in Nandi? Umumene, no more on a fetal boom, we are was good to be a para. Mina, Nina Safarisha from early premature success. I made a blunder out of the whole thing. A Kalan and Kunuku and a Pilim Pilo, a yes man. Your Chabula was a wake, your corn was a wake, a long gang in our Shabalala, who was Kazang in our hamba. We went to Soyamwa Hamba, and Mus Watatwa, E Moto, Papin Willy Kaya, Papin Kale Panty, but in the toilet Muban. There's a saying that he adversity introduces a man to himself. First, you, you become angry at other people. Why are they not helping me? I was helping them, I was there for them. And you realize that everyone is face thinking as that. Yep. So, when you come in, you can't. You can't get it. You can't from the past. You can't get it. 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 You can't get I prayed so hard. Another family was living inside my house. Mm. I then went and I started afresh. I went back to comedy. Um, radio took me back again. Mm. Radio has always been a mother to me. Mm. Radio and So I prayed and today I can Possibly say, I, 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 I have a wife. I am very proud of my wife. I love her dearly. Um, I have my children. Uh, I have more than I, uh, I asked for God that day. My goodness. Uh, I have many houses, many cars. Mm. Sure. <laughs> Happy Heritage Month. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Elevate. And I hope you enjoyed getting to know Felix Lopez just a little bit better. Siabonga.